yeah. We're um I'll go I'll come inside of you. There's our train we've just arrived on from we came from Gori but it started in Tbilisi. It's a Elektrishka or suburban electric unit. Um built actually in Tbilisi as well, so that's quite interesting for anyone who cares. Uh, but yeah, this is the last station in Bajami, a famous spa town for where um, mineral water is bottled. So yeah, we we're going to spend try. some time looking around. Uh, we checked in in our place in Bajami. It looks really nice. It's a guest house. Uh, I think it was supposed to have like a shared bathroom, but there is no one apart from us. So we have double bed and these beds so plenty of options um and there is absolutely lovely view just look at that it's so peaceful and nice and the host the guy brought us some some dinner some bread uh hinkali hachipuri homemade hachipuri some salad cheese Oh, that's really lovely. Yep. Hello again. We enjoyed our Georgian cuisine feast. We did. It was gorgeous. Oh, and we decided to go to the nearest mountain. Well, I did. Well, yeah. Yeah, Elena's followed. In my She's done well. Red riding hood outfit. <laughs> so yeah, we've uh, we've come not so deep into the forest. We've only just come like to the uh, up the hill nearer the uh, guest house. Uh, but it's so beautiful, uh, so peaceful. Yes, it's really it nice. Is. It is raining a little bit, but to be honest, it's it's not too bad. It's quite refreshing. And it's the type of rain, it's warm enough and it dries quickly. So it's, it's all it's right. Just look at the view. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It's so quiet, so peaceful, so green. I love forests, especially pine, pine, pine tree forests. Pine forests. Pine forests, yeah. Pine trees, yeah. A lot of pine cones. We are on our way to Bojomi Center and we found that tunnel. It looks really quite cool and impressive. Built, it, built in 1943. Um, we think this line is mostly disused. The tracks do show a little bit of signs of traffic, but very, very little. Um, but yeah, it's cut through the uh, the cliffside, um, and then there's the river over there, which yeah. Elena's now shown you. Um, which the line to Bajomi from Kishari, hello, uh, <laughs> follows the river basically the entire way. It's an absolutely fantastic journey. But this bit is the other side, which we we don't think sees yeah any. I well, definitely don't see any passenger traffic. Um, Maybe the occasional maintenance train, don't know, very little information. Yeah, and again, the nature, the scenery is really, really gorgeous. We found some big snails, by the way. We usually, I mean, I usually insist helping them <laughs> to, to make it to the opposite side of the road, because unfortunately you see quite a lot of them squished by cars and stuff. It's, it breaks my, my heart to be fair. <laughs> yeah. So we've walked down uh, from our guest house down to the river and more central Bajomi. I uh, found this absolutely lovely mosaic, um, which if, if any of you have watched Bald and Bankrupt, you'll know how he loves Soviet mosaics, and so do we, because um, they are so, so very nice. Um, um, and yeah, uh, very, very, very fast flowing at the moment and very
very muddy, a bit like the River Humber back home. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of rain in the last few days at times, especially heavy thunderstorms. So presumably that's had an effect on the river. Um, but yes, yeah, absolutely lovely. All sorts of buildings dotted about. Um, it does appear to be starting to rain again, but not to worry. We're enjoying life. Carrying on our uh, Homewood Hull theme of River Humber, we found a miniature Humber Bridge over the smaller River Humber. There's quite a few bridges over the river here and they're all, all quite interesting to be fair. Um, various suspension bridges. We've just been over one that rocked a bit, which Elena uh, was in a bit of a hurry to get off. So we also found a lot of drinking water fountains in, uh, in Georgia. I mean, in Gore in here. That's a really, really great idea. It's really nice. Reminds me of Hungary. Yeah. Yeah, and the water is really nice. You can really safely nice. drink tap water, apparently, Georgia. So, yeah, that's good. So, we found one of apparently many Berjami streams. You can buy your bottle up there. Not sure how much it costs, we didn't inquire. But, yeah, you can go and help yourself with a nice water. Right, we've got that. <laughs> Some sulfur water from that. I didn't know it was sulfur water. Yeah, it's it's like it's not warm, it's like room temperature. <laughs> Richard doesn't like it's, it. It's it's unusual. I'm going to try. Mm. Oh. It's unusual. It's, it's different. You need to be careful with that because you don't want to have upset stomach and things, so don't go crazy with this water. Yeah. Be careful. Something is going on. But you can buy bottled Bourjois water. Uh, the guys from post-Soviet countries, you've probably heard about Bourjois. You might have it in the supermarkets. It's like fizzy spring water. I, I didn't know about it. Yeah. But it's really, it's nothing like that, the bottled one, but that's interesting. Oh, the bottled one doesn't taste like that? Mm. Okay. I've not tried the bottled one yet. I the mean, it has something from the taste, but <clears throat> it's similar to the bottled one, but... It's... Hold it's on. unusual. Maybe it tastes like that. We'll see later. We'll buy some later. Yeah, because I, I this was never crazy. was a Bajoni fan, so... But it did eat some Yeah. So, we've just shown the cable car as well. Um, Elena's still drinking her water. The guy over there is still babbling on about something or other. Um, but yeah, the cable car goes up from the bottom here near this park up to, uh, well, one of the hillsides. Apparently it costs 15 lari per person per direction, which is quite expensive really, I guess. But And apparently there's not too much to do up there. But if you like old style cable cars, because apparently it's from the 50s, maybe something you'd be interested in there is a few others of uh similar style in georgia as well which we may visit one uh later in the trip we'll see see how we're doing so elena's going to go into her new house um
Yes. You're small enough. Maybe not. Come on. Come on. I'll show you the next one. <laughs> it looks like someone's been doing toilets in there. Lovely. It is. These are. Uh... quite an interesting uh, little thing to have um, really is quite a nice area here in this park decided to check in a Bujami, uh train station and it looks really really interesting just look at that so schedule and they have I believe it's an old train schedule uh, from Soviet times to like Almaty, Batumi, Moscow, Odessa, Saratov, Riga, Tallinn, Tashkent, and so on and so forth. So the trains all around, um, all around Soviet um, USSR. Sorry. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, I'm sorry for me uh, informing you. It's not like times. It's just prices to all of these places but it's really cool different, different classes like uh, adults children's and stuff it's really quite interesting all the places in the soviet union that you could travel to from here um you know you could argue that the railways back then were far better than they are now how you can just travel to all over but yeah many people would argue that that's not better so Richard decided to have some food, some takeaway, and so we've got fries and a, and a burger. Wow, that's a big one. A chicken burger. Just look at the portion; it's, like it's a, really it's huge. Like a burger. So yeah, we'll. That's it. And so not I'm not. After that marvelous lunch at the place, I'm not. Not normally when but you, he, you get food to yourself. Girlfriends and wife takes but no, I need help now. He, he tried hard seducing me for some freshly baked bread, but not today. Normally? Yeah, I, I, I'm a big lover of freshly baked bread, but... So we'll see if Richard is going to, to make it. I also bought a fridge magnet. Usually, I'm not the biggest fan of buying fridge magnets because, I don't know, just... You don't have a fridge. <sighs> <laughs> no, because I, I find it not the most exciting souvenir to bring. But, here in Bojomi, I couldn't resist. You just look at that. It's cute and iconic. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Five Larry. Not the best. Not the best. Uh, not the best. Not, not the worst. <laughs> no, it's a good price. Yeah, it's a good price, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's good. Well, as you can see, he managed. There should be like a. I did. A the plus. One thing kept up our, uh, to save my hands, game everything. Missing. Absolutely obliterated with ketchup. Yeah, very good. Now just the burger for later. We're on our way back to the guest house. We've got melon for 420 Larry, which isn't bad. Yep. The next day. So this morning we've decided to go, while it's not raining too much, for a little walk up a forest trail, just because we quite enjoyed the aesthetic and the just the peacefulness yesterday. So we thought it'd be a nice idea. Helena's got a bit warm, so the coat is coming off. I think um, but no it's lovely here I oh, know the coat is going back on um, but yeah it's just so peaceful there's so much you can do here you can spend time in the town there's loads of walks you know there's, there's probably some really long ones if you're a bit more adventurous than we are but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous
plodding. Well, I found a mushroom. I have quite a, quite an experience because when I was a child, we used to go and collect mushrooms. So yeah, I'm not sure what's that, but yeah, that's a mushroom definitely. <laughs> I don't know if there is, they like such, such areas with uh, leaves and yeah. Usually quite shady. Shady. Let's go have a look down the, down the hill a little bit. I was thinking here we can get up into the trees a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Get too muddy. Right. If anyone wonders why I've got this hat on, it's to keep my hair dry. Yeah. It's raining, but I'm already carrying it. Ah, good. Don't step on them. Right, time to find some mushrooms. Come on. Yeah. Well, if I ended up on the ground, make sure my iPhone is safe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. So nice. Wow. I love forests. Just look. It's a perfect place for meditation and mindfulness practices. You don't even want to speak loud here. The ambulance in the background. Yep. <laughs> right, we found another one. Again. Sorry, don't know what kind of mushroom it is. Please let us know. Yeah. And there is also a walnut shell. Oh, where is it? I can't see it. Yeah. Can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people uh, like to litter. Mm. So we're about to cross Pigeon Bridge. Uh, as you can see, there is a couple of pigeons there. And it's a suspension bridge across the um, across the river. Um, we'll include a photo of the uh, board with information, but basically it's because there were some floods and um, washed away all the bridges. And to start a new bridge, a guy flew a pigeon with a little bit of thread across to the other side, and they added to it over and over until uh, the bridge was uh, done. We are leaving from Vojomi now. We're Oh, suburban train as you might know it and this is the train there is four coaches as you might notice there is a huge aisle for you to walk down um, usually these trains have more seats in rows together but uh, very generously two plus two uh, quite comfy seats as well um, they do recline um, not by choice you have basically you lean on it it does that so uh, yeah these trains were built in 2000s and Richard is very quite unhappy by the state of them. Also, yes. I'd just say, um, you know, the technology maybe could be greater, but at the same time, they're alright. We like old, clunky, 